Welcome to Tech Primers. In this particular series, we are going to see how to create functional programming using streams. So as you guys know, in Java 8, Java introduced the functional programming as a part of the streams API. So we are going to see how to create streams and how we can use streams, how we can streamline our uh, new stream processing with the new APIs which are there inside the streams. Okay. So let's go ahead and create. So this is going to be a series. So this is my first video in the series. So I'm going to create a project and I'm going to use the same project to uh, do different stream processing and show different stream examples. Okay. In the subsequent videos. So let's go ahead and create a simple project for that. And all these projects will be available uh, in the GitHub repository. So go and check that out from the GitHub repository. If you feel that, okay, you are stuck somewhere. Okay. So let me go ahead and create a simple Maven project and I'm going to create a Java 8 project. Okay, I'm gonna say new. So I will say com tech primers functional. I'll just say functional. Okay, and then I'll just say functional programming or I'll just say streams. I can say functional programming. Okay. So let the project come up. So meanwhile, functional programming is a paradigm. Um, if you see, uh, Scala is a functional programming language. So Java uh, thought that okay, Scala was a boom sometime back. So Java thought that okay, uh, let me go ahead and into the JVM. So same way, uh, JavaScript is also a functional style. Uh, Java JavaScript with script, everything is coming up with functional style. So Java is now trying to come to the functional style and uh, people are going away from the functional side because it is um, it is slightly complex and it is not able we are not able to manage code easily so that's what everyone says if i if i speak with people who are using streams and if i ask them how how is stream so they say that okay it's very complex to understand and stuff like that but uh, create a simple class so I, our uh, project has got created so i'm going to create a simple class so in this particular video, we are going to see what are filters, okay, and uh, inside stream and what are what are the how, how is the filter getting implemented, and we are going to use a for each as well along with the uh, filter. So let's go ahead and create a filter example. Okay, so I have a, just a filter example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a list. Okay, let's say uh, the list has list of names, right? So I'm going to give some list of names as Peter, Sam, let me go ahead and fix this, okay, so Peter, Sam, Greg, and then uh, Ryan, okay, so this is just a list, so what we have is just a list, okay. So in a traditional way, what we would have done is we used to uh, do a for each uh, iterator pattern, right? So what we need to do is we used to uh, just do names dot. So if you notice here, IntelliJ also has a stream, uh, the template. So you just say dot for and then you just type tab. It will automatically do the for each. So this is how we were doing it, right? So traditionally what we were doing, we were doing name let's say i want to filter only i want to print out only sam okay or let's say i i, I don't want to print out sam so what we need to do we used to do this right so we just say not of sam and then we do a print of name right this is how we were doing uh, our iteration and then we were checking sam in the imperative style right so in the stream or the functional style what we are going to do is we are going to say you can say dot stream okay and we need to do filter so we are going to filter this particular stream so basically you are going to filter uh, the names stream so stream is a, as you know the stream the general term of stream is like um, you have a running flow of water you call it as a stream right so it's the same way so this is going to be a, a flow and then we are going to have our um, conditional checks and stuff like that inside that stream so here what we are going to do is we are going to do a filter so we will have a name so this filter is going to get something called predicate 
okay so predicate is nothing but a functional interface so basically predicate is a interface okay and the method which it is which is inside the predicate is test so if you notice here my project is not recognizing lambda so let me go ahead and check the project settings so yeah if you see in the project settings the language level is set as 1.3 so i'll just move it to java 9 okay so that this will now be recognized as uh, lambda and then it should go away right okay so if you don't know uh, lambda expression directly you can do this way so you can uh, directly create the interface and then just implement that method so here what we are going to do is we are going to implement uh, what is the name here so this is going to be name we are going to implement name dot equals of sam same way we are going to say that name dot sam is not equals and finally we are going to do a for each. so we are going to do a printout right so we are going to say name just do a print of name right that's it so usage of api documented uh, since why is it complaining so i think the project is not recognizing java 8 let me go and check what is happening yeah if you see here module level they have set it as java 5 i don't know why okay so this should solve the problem yeah if you notice here the compilation errors are gone now and intellij is now suggesting me to remove this so if you notice here IntelliJ identifies and highlights you if something is not required. So if you see here, this is not required. So IntelliJ is telling me that okay, anonymous new predicate can be replaced with a lambda. You do a alt enter, it is going to replace this with a lambda expression. So if you notice here, this particular lambda expression got changed, and same way here also it is telling me to do something. So it, it is saying that you can replace it with a method reference. So method reference is nothing but whatever argument you give to a function, it is going to uh, give the same to the destination function if you notice here for each if you see for each is going to take a consumer so if you don't know the function of for each you can do this as well so you can do you can write the same thing in a um, consumer so you can do this as well okay you can do this and then later on what you can do is we can replace it in the with the help of IntelliJ so you can just say this okay this is going to work as well but uh, you can just replace this with the same thing again and IntelliJ is now going to say that okay you can replace this with something called method reference so if you just do alt enter it's going to again suggest you saying okay replace the lambda with a method reference so you just print, press enter and if you notice here it gets converted into something like this so you would have seen this in the C++ uh, coding right double colon so this is nothing but method reference in the Java stream so in Java 8 this is called method reference so this is these both are equal if you see the difference between imperative style is you use a traditional style and then you um, you use machine uh, understandable code to do saying okay if do this and uh, use for and iterate it but in terms of functional style we are doing it in terms of stream so if you see here this is how we, we do we are saying that uh, filter based on some logic and then you are just saying printer print it so there is no if else check here filter takes care of controlling that okay and if you want to make it more um, readable you can do this you can uh, basically extract this into a um, function and then you say is not sam okay so what you can do is you can just export that into function and you are saying not sam and same way since the same method name you are passing you can replace this with a method reference and if you notice here how it is getting called is this way okay so you are just having a filter which uh, you say that okay if it is not sam then do a printout so if i run this program right so it is going to print the same result for both the uh, methods but this is a functional style this is the imperative style so this is the difference between the functional style and the imperative style and this is how you write a filter okay so filter is going to do the basic filtering logic and for each is going to do the for uh, basically it's just a consumer so if you see here the uh, interface which it requires is a consumer so consumer is basically you get the data into the consumer but you don't get uh, written anything so basically for each is like you uh, put something inside the for and you don't expect anything outside you don't expect the return type right so that is why it is using a consumer and filter uses something called predicate so predicate is like you give something 
but you expect a true or false value so that is what happens so i think i need to change this to 108 only so everyone is complaining now so this is basically the filter example so and if you notice here this is functional style so you can easily see the um, um, you can easily read the code saying okay this particular names we are saying that okay if it is not sam then print it out that's it okay so why is it having an issue let me go to the settings and then try and see what is the compiler version here build an execution so compiler java compiler yeah if you notice here the java compiler target version here is 1.5 that is the reason this culprit is not running okay so now let me run this particular class it should work now so this uh, happens always most of the time to me so when i try something for a demo it demo works <laughs> happens most of the time right so yeah but yeah so we have solved that problem so let's see functional. I'll just put some log statement so that we it's more clearer. So I'm just running it again. Okay, so if you notice here, the results are going to be the same. The SAM is not getting printed. Okay, this is the basic difference between an imperative style and a functional style. And what we saw in this particular video is we saw how to use filters and how to use for each. Okay, so for each is going to use consumers. So consumer is nothing but if you go to the consumer it is a functional interface it is going to accept some value okay but it is not going to return anything okay same way if you go to filter filter is going to get some value okay it's going to accept some value basically it's going to accept an object but it is going to return only true or false so that is what predicate does okay so that is why filter uses a predicate okay so that is it about the filter example so meet you again in the next video in the other example of stream. Thank you.